failed, leader. But you will not enjoy the victory. I shall now kill you, Doctor. <laughs> All I can hear is the rain pattering against the windows and my tummy rumbling. <laughs> oh, do you know, I think that's the only time possibly in the whole of Doctor Who that the episode finished on silent credits. I don't think think there's been another time, but uh, it's very effective, isn't it? I think that was perhaps quite a common thing with soaps at the time. You know, things like Coronation Street. Um, if, if a character died, they wouldn't play the theme music at the end. And it's, uh, it's quite interesting. Very interesting effect. Well, Matthew Waterhouse, what can I say? Poor Adric. I don't think we'd had a death of a companion since... possibly Sarah Kingdom back in the 1960s. Um, and one thing about being killed off is that you're, it's never forgotten, is it? It's sort of stays in the memories of the fans and um you're never you're never forgotten i thought that was wonderfully moving the way adric held his sort of waist band which i think might have belonged to his brother from full circle and and the doctor killing the cyberman with the badge, the gold badge for mathematical excellence was 
very poignant as well. Very well done, very well done. On a slightly lighter note, um, <laughs> I do recall there was a, a special feature of um, a plasticine Adric and a plasticine cyber man. <laughs> I think they'd landed on the planet and survived. <laughs> and of course, Adric was counting his lucky stars, but then he got eaten by a dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped into my head, but um, it seems totally inappropriate to to mention that. <laughs> but uh, but dear Matthew Waterhouse, um, you know, um, love him or hate him, you can never forget him. And I, I personally loved him. I thought he did a great job, and uh, yeah, he will be missed as well. Another companion bites the dust in the most dramatic of fashions. Excellent. <laughs>